All right, guys, NFB here, and I'm going to make a video response to Young One Price and uh, We Love Her, who originally started the video. I'm going to ask you guys a question. Do you think the Wii U is ahead of its time? Is Nintendo ahead of their time? That's the main question. Well, the way I, the way I see it is mm, yes and no. Innovations are generally new things, new concepts, new ideas, um, whether they've been tried before or not. Um, the Wii U, in a way, has been tried before. If you go back and look at um, the GameCube, you know, you could link your Game Boy Advance to, uh, you know, the, the GameCube and play games like that. Now, of course, you know, back in those days, that's, you know, technology wasn't quite there with touch screen and stuff like that, you know. I think now we're at a point where technology, a lot of this stuff is available, the Wii U is perfect. So it's new, and it's, it's a new innovation. I'm pretty sure the reason why you're asking if Nintendo is ahead of its time is because due to the fact that it's not, you know, selling as rapidly or as fast as the Wii when it first came out. Well, the Wii you know, got the attention because, yeah, it was a new innovation, new idea, but it was the, you know, bam, it was right there. Um, nothing like it before. Everyone knew about it, and that's why it sold so fast and was so successful when it um, came out and whatnot. Now, why can't the Wii U repeat that? The reason why is, honestly, and I've made videos and videos and videos about this as Dark Flame and as an NFB, that... Nintendo has not um, convinced the general consumer that this is a whole new console. Even retailers themselves don't know what the difference between a Wii U and a Wii. They think it's just a peripheral for the Wii. No one knows that this is a new console. I've firsthand. I've seen this myself firsthand. Playing Zombie U, uh, Mario Land and um, some other games that I had that I was borrowing from a buddy of mine and um, yeah they didn't know it was a new console that I was playing the Wii of course they were like you know like well those are pretty good graphics for Wii you know so it's like wow this is a new system it's been out for almost a year you know and that's, that's, that's the thing the market the consumer doesn't know it's even out there yet but it'll pick up It'll pick up. It'll be interesting to see what happens this holiday season, you know. It's been out for a year. We'll see what happens. And, um, it's a great system. And the Miiverse and all these. The eShop. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. eShop. To Young One Price. This is the reason why uh, We Love Her 07 brought up the eShop. The eShop has a, plays a major role with the Wii. Now, you're probably thinking that, well, I don't like to download my games. I like to buy them. Not all games can be purchased at the store. Some of them you have to download. Some great games like Trine 2. Um, I can't think right now, but there's a lot of good eShop games. Indie developers, you know, indie games. You're not going to buy these at the store. These are games that you have to download. It's a great service. Um, free to play games is something that's going to play a major part in the future. And, and I know Nintendo's going to bring this up in the eShop because they have to compete with all these free, dumb games that come up in the app stores, play stores. And, um, and I myself have been actually messing around with some of these games and eh, they're little time wasters but you know the thing is these games are free and people just play these games on their phones and whatnot and the eShop is gonna you're gonna see in the future watch there's gonna be a big old big big change in the eShop so yeah guys um, that's my little rant I guess on uh, post link to uh, we love 07s and young one prices videos down in the description and um, all right guys and be out peace the people you price here and I'm doing a videos a video response